Hello friends, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. In this ongoing Spark SQL video session, so today's session I am going to cover one of the key concept is set operators. Uh, normally, most of the developers will be having some confusion on joints and set operators. And today we will understand what is exactly set operators, when we will go with the set operators, and difference between joints and set operators, joints and set operators, and different types of set operators. So, PySpark level set operators and Spark SQL level. So, SQL level, there is a little difference is there. When it comes to PySpark, that time we will understand what was the difference exactly. When it comes to set operators in PySpark, set operators in SQL. Okay. But let's understand today at SQL level, mainly four types of set operators are available. Union, union all, minus or except, and intersect. If you choose any traditional RDBMS, most of the databases is having like Oracle, uh, most of the databases is having these kind of set operators, union, union all, except, minor, except or minus, or subtract, then intersect. Let's understand the difference between joins and set operators. So when we will go for joins, so when we will go for the set operators. So set operators requirement is simple. A similar structure, a similar structure, similar data or different data. Consider you have a two sources, you have a two sources and one target. Consider you have a customer one, customer one table, customer two table, customer two table. So when it comes to customer, right? So you will be having a similar structure, maybe different data or same data. Consider take a Reliance Fresh. Reliance Fresh and Reliance Digital. Reliance Digital. So there also they will be having customers. Reliance Digital is having customers. When it comes to warehouse, right? Target they need all their customers' data into one place. But in this scenario, here also you will be getting customer data. Here also you will be getting customer data. So how you will take this data and insert into target table? That is called merging data. When it comes to merging data. Which one we will use? Joints or set operators? Set operators primary requirement is similar structure. Similar structure. Same data or maybe different data. So those kind of scenarios, if you want to merge union or union all merge and load into target table, that is called set operators. Set operators. Okay. Merging data. Then when we will go with the joints, when we will go with the joints. Consider you have a sales table and you have a customer table. Okay, you have a customer table, sales table. Both are different subjects data, different structure will be there. But only common column here it is, customer key or customer key is a common column. If you are looking for customer sales, then go and join these two tables. Join these two tables and get the customer sales. Consider I have another table called product table product table so i want to product wise sales then product table will have a product information sales table will have a sales information both are different subject but a common here it is if you are looking for a product wise sales so product key here and here will be there join these two tables and get the data different subjects data and common columns will be there one or two common columns will be there then different subjects data join and get that is called joins like inner join, left outer, right outer, full outer, different kinds of joints are available. So that I have did another video on joints. So go through that joints video, you'll get more clarity. So today primary focus is set operators. So different types of set operators are available. Let's understand here. Union, union is common data from both. Common data means, which is matching data from both, matching data from both. But when it comes to matching data from both, if you have a duplicates, it will eliminate, it will give a unique data from both, unique data from both, and unmatched data from both, unmatched data from both. It is like, it is like a full outer join. It is like a full outer join without duplicates, no duplicates. Next one is union all. Union all, union, both are same. The only here it is a common data. Common data, if it is having a, one here, one here, you will get a twice here, one, one. If you have only one, then you will get a single record. That is called unique records, here a duplicate records. 
that's the difference between union union all then intersection intersection is nothing but a common matching data it's like inner join it's like inner join only matching data from both only matching data from both that is called intersect it's like inner join it's like a inner join subtract a minus b r minus r subtract r except a except b a except means whichever matching data it will remove remaining data it will display it's like anti join in sql not exist or not in anti join in sql this is that is called minus operator intersect is like inner join then union union all is same as your full outer join same as your full outer join you see this so inner join is like a intersect full outer join is like a union all or union then minus minus is not actually it is same as like in a joints anti join left anti join left anti join let's see with the practical session one by one so i am going to create a two tables first i'll drop this two tables i am going to create this two tables this two tables is having uh, some person information like person one table person two tables and have intentionally i am inserting some duplicate records to give you clarity on intersect union union all because most of the people will have a confusion on union union all and intersection okay that's why i inserting a duplicate here this is a duplicate record this is a duplicate record in person table then even person two table also this is a duplicate record you see this this is also duplicate record i'll show you the data first then we'll see one by one we'll see one by one so these are our four union union all intersect minus let's show you with one by one let's show you with one by one person one table person two tables both i'll show you okay. table creation in progress once it is available we'll see the data both tables are so the second table is in progress once table is available i'll show you that and if anyone is looking for this dbc file the dbc file is available in my github you can find in a video description i'll give my github link go and download there okay now this is a person one table person two table and when it comes to set operators we'll have a similar structure maybe same data or different data same data or different data so similar structure is nothing but this table also person id person name this table also person id person name just i'll do the some order by you'll get some more clarity one two three four here also four five six seven but common is four this table also four this table also four that is common both the tables when it comes to here the common data here the yellow highlighted one when you go with the union how you will get when you go with the union all how you will get when you go with the intersection how you will get we'll see one by one let's look at the data first this is a duplicate data here also duplicate data and here also duplicate data whenever you union these two tables so select start from table one union select star from table two so if i go with the union what will happen union is both table data both table data the person id one two three four and four five six seven but here are duplicates are there and here also some duplicates are there this is a duplicate record this is a duplicate record intentionally i created duplicate record but when you look at the output you see this one unique record four unique record actually four you should get four records here is two here is two so two plus two totally you will get a four normally but union will eliminate the duplicates you will get a both table data one two three four five six seven but wherever duplicate is there it will eliminate the duplicates by default union will give you unique records it will eliminate duplicate you can see this it is this let's use union all union all is nothing but both tables data whatever data it is available blindly it will display matching data all so one is available here two records you see this two records 
2 3 is available 4 when it comes to 4 2 times is available in one table 2 times is available in another table let's go and verify here two records here two records total four records all are duplicate only but union all you will get all the data that is the diagram which i have shown here if you remember this diagram that symbol here it is left table data right table data both the tables data you will get but here whatever may be left table or right table unique data you will get that's all you know left table or right table unique data you will get but here both table data whatever data is there duplicate data that is union all union all will give you duplicates union all will give you duplicates okay union will give you unique union all will give you duplicate data now then intersect so when it comes to intersect right so intersect is only matching data from both it's like inner join it's like inner join uh, here you see this that yellow color highlight intersect the intersect is nothing but only the matching data here four and four so four and four total four here two records here two records but you will get a unique that is called intersect when it comes to intersect right four plus two plus two the four record you, normally it is repeated here are two records here are two records by default intersect will give you unique records intersect will give you unique records so you see this the back end jobs you see it is going for shuffle right shuffle read shuffle right shuffle read and i'll show you that both the tables data it will take and uh, it will uh, give you the final record so shuffle right shuffle read it is doing even if you go to the spark execution plan also here it is so both the tables data person one person two then exchanging the data and finally you will get this data you see this number of blocks it is reading and finally output as aggregate okay so means here you will get a unique data it will eliminate by default it will eliminate the duplicates that is called intersect then except except r minus except r minus a minus b so whatever matching data 4 is there it will remove remaining data from first table remaining data from first table the 4 is there 4 it is removed and 1 2 3 but 1 2 3 1 is duplicate so here it is eliminated duplicates and if you are looking for accept all accept all means so a minus b a minus b but when it comes to a a means here whatever repeated data that repeated data all you can see this except r both are same except r minus just alias okay except r minus both are same just a alias you see this except all or just if i go with the except a minus b here also minus only a minus b subtract minus except okay you can call it as any name and you say this a minus b a minus b so whatever matching data it is removing the remaining data from left side it is giving by default left side also will give you unique records so minus operator by default will give you unique records if you are looking for all you can use all and similarly intersect by default intersect also will eliminate the duplicates eliminate duplicates if you are looking for all even there also you can use all okay only we need to go with the union all union all by default you will get all records the duplicates then if you are looking for unique then you can apply the distinct again apply the distinct so i have given a syntaxes in the same notebook you can use uh, by default anyway distincts will be applied if you're looking for all you can use for all okay similarly union so union elements union all will give you all records 
union will give you unic union all will give you all records so that's the repeated records four rec fourth id you see four times because one table is having a two records another table is having a two records so still four records so this way which we can use a set operators always remember set operators should have a similar structure what is mean by similar structure number of columns data type should be same i'll show you a simple example here if i select only id here if i select id comma name then it won't match your data set operators means number of columns should match those data types should match you see this first table it is selecting one column second table you are selecting two columns that is not possible but joints is not like this joints one table can have n number of columns another table can have n number of columns you can join those two tables with a common condition different subjects data different data will go with a common column that is called joints when we will go with the set operators similar structure similar data or maybe different data and same subject data same subject data means you have a customer one customer two location one location two so those kind of scenarios if you want to merge the data set operators four types of set operators always remember this differences between joints and set operators if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day